This is David Holt, IV Consultant, with some tips from my book from Chapter 6 of 7 IV Antibiotic Mistakes. Nurses who give venifer, which is an iron supplement, have the nasty habit of leaving the IV tubing full of the venifer. This results in the patient only getting about 87% of the venifer dose. Now these patients are usually fragile, anemic, and they need the full dose of iron which the physician has ordered. So I would like all nurses to listen in and do it correctly. There are of course two ways to give venifer IV piggyback. The ideal way is to have your flush bag and to hang your 250cc venifer bag on the secondary tubing and you will program your bag for approximately 305 to 315 cc's in order to a empty the bag which typically has a 20 to 25 cc overfill but no additional drug and secondly to flush the entire IV tubing if you're using Holtz IV rule number two the number to program into your IV pump is the volume of the bag plus 10% to account for the overfill plus the volume of the secondary tubing plus the volume of the primary tubing plus any additional add-ons such as an extension set or the dead space volume of a pick and this will come to approximately 305 to 315 cc's. The second way to give a full dose of venifer would be for the nurses who are using a one tubing setup which is typically what I find when I walk through a telemetry unit. I usually see two to three IV setups outside of patients rooms or even inside the rooms where the uh, setup has about 10 cc's left in the bag and the IV tubing is still full of venifer. We can see venifer unlike antibiotics we can see venifer because it has a slight rusty color. Now, these nurses are obviously not giving a full dose of the venifer and what they need to do before disconnecting from the patient is to connect a flush bag to the top of the IV tubing and actually flush the IV tubing of its venifer by programming for an extra 25 to 30 cc's to go through the tubing and through the pump and before you do that you will need to completely empty the bag of the venifer in that way, whichever format of IV tubing you're going to be using, you will actually give 100% of the venifer and your uh, fragile patient will have his or her hemoglobin come up pronto.